So here we are in Kiri Kiri at the little church, one of the earliest churches in New Zealand. And I've come to look and tell you about these beautiful stained glass windows that we've got here. Okay, I don't know if you can tell or not, but these windows are in fact double glazed. So that means there's clear glass on the outside. It was pretty much the way everybody does it now, and I've certainly been doing even domestic stained glass like this for 30 odd years. I'm not sure why they haven't blackened this side of the lead. I guess it just made it a bit quicker to get it done and they figure people don't go and look at the outside of a church window anyway. But I'm a bit old fashioned. I paint and polish both sides but mine's domestic so that's a bit different. When you're doing it for someone's home it's expected that it gets seen on both sides. Lovely job though. These are the beautiful windows. Let's just take a closer look. And get the camera to focus. Stunning seashell, all hand painted. Most of this glass, I think, is originally coloured glass and then it's been hand painted. All the black bits you can see over the top. Look at that lovely sailing ship. It all looks simple. That sailing ship's done on a pink and clear flashed glass. The colour variation in this is just stunning. Oh, just grapes and wheat. Look at the variety of greens just in that, that spot there. And all this lovely hand painting which of course has all been kiln fired. Let's see if we can get the lamb into focus. And that little bit of an abstract dove at the top. Look at those beautiful bright oranges. I'll just see if I can extend this so we can get to see a bit more of it. Might be a short pattern. Oh, there we go. See the dove diving down? Isn't that lovely? Look at that bright orange, all oh, hand painted, and look at the, the lamb representing Christ. And the dove, of course, he represents the Holy Spirit. Beautiful glass is used there. I think that that gold tinge would be silver stain on there. And of course all the little people hand painted on. Look at that. And all these pieces up the top still hand painted. But all the colour, the bright colour you see on the glass, that is actual coloured glass as it's manufactured. That's, that's not painted on. The painting on I'm talking about is the black and brown lines. And of course you've got, look at the variety of lead and sizes of lead he's used. And it just makes the whole thing one big beautiful story. Isn't that stunning, those flowers? Who doesn't like making flowers? Mm. Step back again and we'll get one full view of it. And of course I'm naughty because I've gone from filming portrait to landscape style. But I'm kind of new at this. Use this the selfie stick is self-destructing. Okay, our beautiful window at this end is representing a lot of New Zealand trees there. I think we have a carry tree right at the top, if you can see that, and a kiwi in that top window. I'll see if I can zoom in on that in a minute. And we have Christ there in the middle, actually looking quite Catholic, um, the world at his feet, and New Zealand on the world once again. Hang on, I just have to see if I can zoom in on that. Okay, can you see that world at Christ's feet? And look, there's New Zealand in that or bottom left hand corner of the round world and the kiwi sorry I hope not making you all seasick I'm not clever at this look at that kiwi that dark brown patch in the middle he's beautifully done and I can't believe that this mobile phone is doing such a wonderful job 
Look at that beautiful punga tree and the ferns down the bottom. Wow, just awesome. And we'll go down. And there we have a cross. I'll zoom back out. Beautifully done. Lots of work in there. Lots of work. In there again. Okay. I'm sorry about the wobbles, folks. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Little bird in the bottom, on the top left corner. And we, here we have the fantail. See the fantail right in the middle? And that window's got the word hope written in the top right hand corner. And there we have Samuel Marsden. His name is written there, the silver fern around the sides. And his um, gravestone. And back across to the other side is that cherry chapel. And the church, this window is on the left side and it's the faith window beautifully done now that blue glass is originally all the same color and then it's been well, there might be two shades of blue at the top there but it's been painted over with black and then rubbed back it's a very detailed way of making work and the flowers are just stunning and there's another little baby bird there isn't that lovely and I'll step back so we can get the whole thing to focus on the way. And this is an Anzac window that's been beautifully made. The red at the top is actually red flashed onto clear glass, so two layers of glass made together. And then they acid etch back the red so that light comes through the clear. Beautifully done, absolutely perfect. And then our main Anzac window with our two men standing there. It wasn't intentional for me to have my lovely camper van in the background. It's, uh, I didn't know that when I parked it there. Now this window has done an amazing fine copper foil work which you normally wouldn't have in a church because it's not a particularly strong way of making a window. And this has just been beautifully made. This person, whoever made it, would have made fantastic stained glass lampshades. This is just fine, fine work. And here's some more either acid etching or sandblasting. I'm not sure what those symbols are. If you know, you can tell me. And the flags, the old red, white and blue. And that reads, when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Isn't that stunning? It's beautiful. Just lovely. Thank you for preserving this bit of New Zealand. It's just stunning to see. And it's stunning to be able to go into it in the middle of the day and talk about it. There's the uh, stone store. There's the happy blue camper of mine. <laughs> The amazing big tree that we have here. Look at the size of that thing. Planted, must have been on day dot around here. And a beautiful graveyard. And here is famous ship's bell. HMS Black Prince. I don't know if you can see that. But there it is. 